Welcome to Ecoholics. In this lecture, we will understand about circular flow of income. So this is the basic lecture for economics and this lecture mainly dedicated towards the students or the aspirants that are preparing for UPSC IAS civil services examination. This lecture uh, actually plays an important role in order to understand the integration in the economy as well as we can say the correlation between the sectors different sectors that are playing important role in the economy so now we'll start with a simple model of circular flow of income now first of all we need to understand that why it is called as the circular flow now the why it is called circular flow because there is no beginning no end of this particular flow so how income flows between the sectors how goods and services are traded in the economy this is how we need to understand in this lecture so after this lecture you'll understand the simple economic integration of different sectors like household firms government sector external sector etc so here we are drawing simple uh, we can say circular flow first one we have here is households the second sector we have is we are having firms so now there are two sectors as i said earlier one is household and the second one is firms now we'll see in the two sector economy suppose there are only two sector what will be the correlation and what will be the exchange between these two now if we draw this like uh, there are certain circular lines be careful about the arrows that you are making because it is a circular flow so arrows should be in tandem Now here, suppose there are firms and the households. So if we say that what households are getting from the firms. So in simple sense, they are getting goods and services. So firms, what firms are doing? Firms are providing certain amount of production and services towards these households. Like for goods, we can say firms are producing the mobile phones and these are the goods and households are using these mobile phones services like education services so there are a lot of firms providing education services and households are the same uh, simple family we can understand they are getting or availing the services in return what firms are getting from the households so these are we can say the payments of goods and services so i'm writing in short just g and s so suppose the firms are providing smartphones to households. what households are giving these are giving payments for that particular smartphone the same thing now what households are giving to the firms now households are giving factor services so factor services is what households are giving to the firms it means suppose households also includes labor so suppose I'm doing certain kind of labor in a firm that particular thing I belong to household category and then I'm giving my labor part towards these firms in the production of suppose a smartphone. Now what in return will give so we'll get the factor income factor income from the firms. So this is what we are getting. There are two. Uh, there are four types like wages, rent, interest, and profit. So factor incomes generally given to the factors of production. And if these are factors of production provided by the household, suppose household provides certain amount of land in order to construct a particular industry, that so firms will give rent to that particular thing. Suppose household will give certain kind of uh, capital then obviously firms will give certain kind of interest to that so this is how the two sector economy looks like I'm moving away you can if you want you can take the screenshot of this apart from this this factor income now if we include one important intermediary into the system known as the financial sector or we can say banks in simple language financial sector banks so now we'll see the relationship between financial sector and the banks and household and firms. So the same thing we can say, first we'll see what the relationship between financial sector and the household, simple sense, household actually giving a lot of 
hard earned savings to the financial sector and they are borrowing money from the financial sector in order to purchase certain kind of assets so we can say that borrowing for the perspective of house loan vehicle loan whatever it is and they are giving savings like fixed deposit current account saving account whatever they want to open it the same thing is also like firms also um, firms do save so they will provide saving to the financial sector and they will also borrow money so borrowing money for their business so this is the relationship between the financial sector and the two sector that is firms and the household now what will happen if we include the another important sector suppose we'll include the government sector now this government sector plays an important role if we first include that what the relationship between government and the financial sector so we can say it is same like government also saves certain amount of money in the bank so saving or savings we can say and here government is also borrowing money now if i remember the famous case of iran petroleum controversy where us denied that india cannot pay for the purchase of crude oil from iran in terms of dollars because there was a time that iran was facing sanctions from united states of america so what happened after that india decided to pay in euro but euro being the part or we can say being a close ally of united states they also denied and said that you can pay only 55% of the amount in terms of euro so what happened about the remaining 45% so india paid in terms of the rupee so here we can say that india that government of india borrowed money from the uco bank just in order to pay that money to the iranian crude oil also saving government do save in the financial sectors so these are the common examples of this now what is the important relationship between the government and the firms now what government or what we can say firms will give to the government they will pay the taxes so here taxes means direct plus indirect taxes both the taxes because corporate income tax is the direct tax and gst goods and services tax is indirect tax now what in return firms are getting generally firms are getting subsidies so firms are getting subsidies into uh, from the government so this is the relationship between firms and the government now if we come to government and the household relation so what households are giving to the firms or oh, household giving to the government is same we can say the taxes but here only direct tax will come because household does not pay any indirect tax so household pays generally direct tax like property tax wealth tax income tax etc and what in return they are getting from government that is subsidies plus transfer payments so subsidies are simple like lpg subsidies they are getting households are getting lpg subsidies and what about transfer payment transfer payment in the sense simple like the pensions the unemployment allowance these are the examples of the transfer payments given to the households by the government now if we add another sector that is the foreign sector or we can say the external sector now here what is the relationship between firms and the external sector or the foreign sector so simple relation with firms and the foreign sector whatever comes in it's what we call imports and whatever is coming or going out from firms to foreign sector it means from india to abroad these are exports on the other hand if we see what's the relationship between the households and the foreign firms so what households are getting from the foreign that is 
factor income or net factor income from abroad you must have heard in the 12th class ncrt what is nfia that is net factor income from abroad it means a particular household working abroad and sending back the some amount of money in the domestic economy like suppose your uh, elder brother elder sister or your neighborhood you can say in your neighborhood someone working in united states of america they are earning suppose thousand dollars per month and they are using $900, sending $100 back to India, that will come under net factor income from abroad. So that is factor income for India. And obviously, if the same is done by some US citizen in India, they are sending back to the back the certain amount of money to United States of America. That will obviously, that is the income paid out towards foreign. So that is the net amount, obviously after some calculation. So net factor income from abroad. What households are giving to foreign sector, external sector? They are providing certain services. So this is what we call the human capital. So suppose uh, I'm standing here, I'm taking a live lecture in the United States of America. So this is what we call the exporting services of human capital. So this is how the circular flow looks like. And if you want to take the screenshot, you can take, but it's my personal advice that you should draw this particular circular flow into your copy. You'll understand far better than this particular uh, picture. So I hope you understand. And if you like the video, please give a big thumbs up and please share with your friends as well. And do like or do share the Ecoholics with your friends as well as subscribe on our YouTube channel that will give you more insights into UPSC examination especially related to economics as a discipline because generally this subject is considered as a bit tricky so here I'll make uh, every concept crystal clear and very easy for your examination purpose also we are having the mobile app of ecoholics where you'll find full courses of indian economic services economics optional for upsc ugc net economics econometrics mathematical economics so there are a number of courses so you can visit ecoholics.in this is our website and you can avail the courses with a certain nominal fees so i hope you understand this lecture and if you want any other lecture, you can mention in the comment box. If you have any doubt, you can directly contact with me on my WhatsApp number given in the description of this video. So thank you so much. Have a nice day.